No casitas in Corrales, an amended ordinance passed by the Village Council, will make it harder for people there to build a small home on their property. News 13's Stephanie Chavez is live in the studio this evening with that story. The newly updated ordinance will close any loopholes found in the previous rules, making it more difficult for property owners to build a second dwelling on their property. Corrales is basically the Narnia of New Mexico. It's not unusual to see signs like this one in the village of Corrales. But there's new signs popping up along Corrales Road. They read, say no to short-term rentals in Corrales, and say no to casitas in Corrales. We don't want two houses on an acre. Scott Kaminiak grew up in Corrales, and he moved back to the village in 2001. He hangs one of the no casitas signs on his fence. That stems from our desire to not have high density housing. In order to keep population density low and prevent septic systems from getting overwhelmed, the village has always had a rule against property owners having a second dwelling on their lot. But Kaminiak says property owners have been finding a loophole to that rule for years. The perceived loophole was that a dwelling was something that had a kitchen. On top of that, some residents are upset about those casitas being used as short-term rentals, like Airbnbs. So the Village Council recently updated the original ordinance to close those loopholes, changing the definition of dwelling unit to a building used for living, sleeping, eating, cooking, or sanitation. They also changed the definition of kitchen in the updated ordinance as any room intended or designed for cooking or the preparation of food. My opinion is I, I think it's an attack on a way of life. Kevin Mullaney has a casita on his property. My father-in-law lives in, in the casita. He's against the recently approved ordinance. Absolutely. I think it's a huge overstep. He says property owners should have the final say, but Kaminiak says the rules that are in place help to maintain the rural feel of the village. Very nice. It's very pleasant. It's, uh, you know, an open environment. There's lots of space between the houses. The amended ordinance was approved by the village of Corrales on June 15th. They're just waiting for the final signature from the mayor. Back to you. All right, thanks, Stephanie. The village of the village planning and zoning office tells us existing casitas do not have to be removed, but their use must comply with these new rules.